You've asked for it and you've got it. Hey, Mr. Hey. Debenham Carey and Coleman Domingo, oh, live from Buenos Aires. Yay! Hello, it's good to be here. We're here in Buenos Aires. You can really tell we've hit like 4 p.m. <laughs> Like that jet lag and that coffee is really set in right now. now. Are you having a good time here? I'm having a wonderful time. Are you having a great We're time? We're having a blast in Buenos Aires. Yeah, of course. Nice. Meet a couple, like, you yeah. know, a lot of people. It's been great. Mm -hmm. We've seen the little tango. Food is amazing. Food is amazing. Yeah, we're Malbec it. wine from Argentina. I didn't know that. Exceptional. Yeah, we've been tasting all that Buenos Aires has to taste. Yeah, it's been that good. Weird. That sounded really that sound weird. weird. I don't know why it's but so it's weird. Right. Why don't we go to some questions? Yeah, we'd love to answer some of your questions because that's what we're here for after all. Alicia, <laughs> yes, I have a question Coleman. from Miriam in Mexico. Hi. Do you think Alicia mm -hmm. would find the real love in the apocalypse? You know what? Real, I mean real, real love. love. Like real we're love. talking real love. Not like catfish no, love. No, no, no. We're talking that Romeo and Juliet right. kind of love. <laughs> right. The because, true deep love. Because you've had a lot of love. I mean, That's... she's had a lot of love. That's the thing. I've actually kind of had, you know, I had Jake. I had... Uh, the guy with the dreamy eyes. Dreamy eyes? Dreamy eyes with the hair. He had the 80s haircut. Who was the guy? The tall guy. Boat? Oh, the, oh, oh, catfish dude. Catfish. <laughs> <laughs> Catfish. He yeah, he did though. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Jack Kipling, but it wasn't Jack Kipling. Was it? Okay, so yes, that. And then there was also obviously first boyfriend. He died. That was sad. Yeah. Um, I mean, I would. I'm happy that Alicia doesn't have to have a relationship at this point. No. I think she's, she's cool. lost so much that it's probably unlikely at this point that she's even that's on her mind. I think just trying to get out of this pit of despair and. She's like, I'm all good. Right She's now. like, I don't need anything because that just means there's more to lose. You know? Wow. Yeah, that's deep. Deep stuff. You, you got a question for me, Alicia? Alicia? I do, Coleman. <laughs> question from Georgina, Argentina. Hey, Georgina in Argentina. How do you think things are going to be like now that your character lost the only person that always believed in him? Oh, my God. That is horrible. Yeah, that, what right a question. here. Gosh. I think, honestly, I think that um, Strand is uh, really in a, in a way, in a way that he hasn't been in a long time. Um, Madison showed him his better self, um, believed in his better self, and helped him believe in that. So he's been on this path and this trajectory to be good, to be a part of a community, to to, you know, to be a bit kinder and gentler. And so I think that he's, he's in conflict right now. So we'll see how he goes forward. Maybe he'll have, you know, I know that Victor and Alicia have been getting had some beginnings of having a bond, and I think maybe that's yeah. some, maybe that's a possibility. Yeah. Um, maybe with some of the new characters, but um, yeah, I think that Victor's on a. We get a couple of nice moments. Yeah, we've got some nice moments. Yeah, yeah. And we were really wanting those too. Yeah, exactly. Because we hate each other so much. <laughs> in, real in real life, we despise each other. We just hate you can just each tell, other. just oozing in the just camera. Can't even just deal. yeah, I can't even. I, I want to turn the other way. Okay, I have a question for you from Maria Jose in Nicaragua. Oh, this is for both. Oh, for both. What was the funniest thing that ever happened to you on set? Oh, there's just too many. I get this question all the time. And it's so hard because we, we, just so have, we just have such a ball, and there's no, there's no real like. There was this one specific moment mm. because there, you know. I feel like we have so many, but like, just Frank was always just such a goofball. You're hilarious. <laughs> you know what I mean? Kim's hilarious. Like, Kim is just whip smart funny. Like she's great. I, I, it's hard to. I grabbed Kim Dickens' boob once by accident. That's that was funny. That was pretty funny. Some of the funny, funny stories too. I feel like are more appropriate to tell. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, I've we'll got one. Yeah. Oh, for both of us, uh, Giovanna from Mexico. If you could bring a character from the past seasons back to life, who would it be? Wow. Wow. Well, wow. Okay. We. I think we both know. Yeah, I'd bring. I'd bring. Who are you gonna say? Wait, don't wait, do this like wait. that. No, who are you gonna say? This looks like it's rehearsal. No, it doesn't. So no, we didn't rehearse at all. But wait, who would you wanna bring back? I was gonna bring back Nick and. I was and gonna bring back Madison. Madison. So but we haven't had to bring, bring back one though. Well, right? I don't know. It's a little <laughs> difficult. Between the two of us, we'll have a full set. Yeah, this is true. I'm bringing back um, Madison. I'll bring back my brother. So there, there we go. go. Perfect. Drinking yeah. buddies, buddy buddies. Brenda from Argentina, for both. What do you enjoy the most, shooting action scenes or emotional ones? Okay, so, well, that's different because yeah. action scenes are fun and they're yeah. probably the most enjoyable. Lots of choreography. But it, they take forever. And then emotional scenes are really, really tough, but they're more rewarding as an actor. That's the stuff that so the actors want. That's exactly. the thing. And so they're hard and, like, they're maybe not the most enjoyable, but mm -hmm. you get the most out of it. Yeah. You learn the most from You enjoy working with another person so intimately. So I guess I'd say emotional. I agree. Mm. 
I agree with everything yeah. you just said. Oh, Perfect. Look at that. So in sync. Okay, Luciana, Argentina. Luciana, I like our Luciana. I love we have the a Lucy. House. Yeah. If I used you to call it Luciana by accident, but now oh. I know it's Lucy. <laughs> Luciana, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it's a little side story. <laughs> I mean, like the little tidbits, the side notes. <laughs> if you could give an advice for your characters in the first season, what would it be? Oh, I know what mine advice? would be. Mine would be, dude, chill out. Relax, Victor Strand. But maybe not, because I think what Victor maybe not. I'd to say do... like hold on to that suit. You're never gonna see it again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would also say, you know what? Maybe it might not be a good idea to bring these eight people in your boat because yeah. they might be ruining your whole they are jam. Ruining your whole life. Because basically they ruined my whole jam. I was all set. All I need is one person. I need one dude to help me get the boat down to Mexico. Maybe. But then I brought everybody, <laughs> and every time we go somewhere, we burn something down or blow it up. Maybe you guys like bad news for Victor. Victor would be cool. Wait, that's second season though. First season. First season still. That, at the end of the first season, he was like, "I'm right, bringing you guys with like, me." Hey. All right. First of all, he was like, "Come to my house." Oh, and y'all were judging his house when we walked in. Y'all were like, "Oh, why is he so rich?" I guess I would have said, <laughs> "Listen to." You remember the guy that he was like the only kid that knew something was happening? Yeah. Um. What? Jesus. Tobias. Tobias. Listen to Tobias. Listen to Tobias. <laughs> Question from Guillermo in Argentina. Uh, what does it feel like to put a knife in a zombie's head? I'll give that to, one, to you. It's for both, but it's more for you because I've seen you do, do that many that times. I do that a lot. It's like I was every actually five minutes in an episode. I know, it really is. <laughs> right. like, so we're going to get you to do this again. I am on that kind of show, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what I expect. Um, I, so it's different because in real, like acting, that is actually very... It's very technical, so it, it sounds like it would be really like, cool and fun, but most of the time it's like, yeah, we just didn't catch that on camera, so do you mind doing it another 20 times? Mm -hmm. And it's like, I mean, we've gotten really good at it now, but I mean, it yeah. looks cool. It's just... How are you going to get it? The camera's going to be yeah, here. Yeah, this real that. angle, and like oftentimes, too, like the knife is superimposed with a, a really... Um, a uh, fluoro green knife blade instead, mm -hmm. so to, to, so they can fix it out and everything. So it's yeah. it's just a little it's bit more technical. technical. But yeah, I mean it looks badass. So. It sure does. Okay, so. okay, I've got one for you. I was for both, but maybe it's for you. Victoria from Chile. Hi, Victoria. Which was the most surprising moment from season four? Oh well. Wow. Well, the most surprising wow. moment was was when I knew that we were going to lose Madison Clark. Yeah. That was a very surprising moment. Um, for all of us. For all of us, for, for everyone. But also, it was just a place that the, they knew, the story, the showrunners and um, writers knew that it was going to propel our characters in a different way. That, that no matter what, the rest of the season, and probably seasons to come, will be under the, still the uh, energy of what, and the promise of what Madison Clark was trying to set up for us. Yeah. So that was such a huge surprise, because I know that she was the center of our show. Mm -hmm. So that was that was. Surprising. That was hard. Yeah. I mean, there were quite a few surprising moments, too. Even the, just, like, finding out who the crossover character was, that there yeah. was going to be one. They were moving we, to Texas. They were moving to Texas. This was a big season for us, and yeah. surprises and changes. And, yeah. yeah. And we fared really well in the face of challenge. We got ourselves trussed up into some clothes, and here we are here in, we are. in uh, Argentina. All, all clean. Yeah, all clean. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Camila in Argentina, for both. What mm -hmm. did you learn during your work and fear over these years? Hmm. Ugh, what have you learned everything. in your work? How to be a better teammate, yeah. how to be a better actor, mm -hmm. how to be a better part of your crew yeah. and your cast, how to... I, I mean, I learned so much. This is very formulative years for me as well. Like, mm -hmm. as a young sort of woman on a, on a show, I've always been the youngest on a set. Um, and so this learning from so many amazing people like you, mm -hmm. like Kim Dickens and Frank Delane and... I mean, it, it bring like Cliff Curtis at mm. the beginning. It's just been, this has been a really amazing learning. It's been really like a training ground for me. And also, we think about this, we also get to go to, um, we to learn about different cultures, mm -hmm. uh, different work practices, because we've gone all over from working in Vancouver to We learned a little LA. Spanish. We learned a little Spanish, <laughs> um, which probably has escaped me by, from mm -hmm. now because we haven't been in, there in a year. But we've been, um, it really is a, a, a great journey, yeah. especially when you're able to be a, a part of a show for more than four seasons. It's like we really are a family and we challenge each other still. Yep. And uh, with the new castmates as well, we have new castmates like Jenna Elfman and Garrett Dillahunt. And, you know, we also have Denai Garcia, who's been with us, and yeah. Lenny, Lenny James. And people are just lovely. And 
Maggie Grace, and we're continuing to learn. Yeah. Yeah. Is it you or me? It's oh. you. Oh, it's you. And I think it's well, the one. Oh, wait, it's you. you. Guys. Yeah. Oh, wait. One. No, 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 no. Oh, I got one. Wait, I got another one. Oh, yes, no. I, this is not. Yeah. You got one? No. I, I ran out. Pablo from Chile says, if you could pick a movie star to be on your survival group, who would it be? <gasps> And please don't say me, because I am a movie star, and it's really uncomfortable. You're like, don't say me. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, don't say me or Mel Streep again. Oh my God, it's really oh my God. uncomfortable. It's just like oh you hear it all the time. Jesus, uh, me and Meryl. Oh my God, imagine if we got Meryl. Okay, now that would be So what cool. about like weird? What would Kate Blanchett be like? Wouldn't that be cool? Why can't we get like Kate Blanchett to join us too? Why are you Kate Blanchett? I mean, since we're adding more people, maybe we'll add. Can I have George Clooney as well? Yeah, that's good. I mean, well, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> we'll liven everything up. No. <laughs> I love that. What if, like, oh, that would be great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have too many now. You have about. a lot. I know, look at your brain. You're yeah, thinking of, like, I'm so like, many. Ooh. You're like, she's about to replace the entire cast yeah. with, like, all her I'm movie like, stuff. you're gone. It's going to be George <laughs> I'm being replaced by George Clooney. Wow. Okay, well, you guys. Well, I hope George Clooney has a great Never. season five. Okay, you guys? No, it's fine. It's uncomfortable. It's fine. It's well, right. you're going to replace me with Meryl, so. Well, you know, it's Meryl. Yeah. Meryl and I, he has a thing going on. I understand. Well, um, this has been really wonderful, you yeah. guys. We're out of our questions, but I'm sure that... Um, I, please follow us and things like that. You know, uh, where are you, Alicia Jasmine? I'm Alicia Jasmine, Debnam Carey on Twitter. And um, I'm on. I'm King of Bingo, King of Bingo on Instagram, Facebook, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I'm Coleman Domingo other places you are, too. You are. I'm Coleman all over the place. Domingo. And a lot of times, <laughs> I'm glad you told me. And usually, I'm doing the most on uh, social We're media. We're usually doing the most. We're doing the you most, but especially doing right now, I'm doing the most time. right now. Um, but thank you so much for sending these questions, and we had a really great time. Yeah. And uh, Fear the Walking Dead comes out August 13th. Yes. So please make sure you watch it, because there's so much great stuff coming up. Um, we've got some really cool developments for both of our, our characters. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Keep your comments really going. Great. We like to hear. We get your feedback. Thanks so much for all your support and love. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye.